Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, what's up, all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of the Gaming News where we run down the list of all of your rumors, news, and stories going into the gaming world this week. We only have one th thing on the agenda today, so you guys know how I do this. Um, give me one moment to pull back the small curtain because I am lazy. There we go. <laughs> it is me. It is I. I am slowly moving across. Anyway. Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, as you guys can see, um, it's very early in the morning, so I'm not all the way to hell here. So, personally, I can give two less of two shits. Anyway, um, what I do want to say is that there hasn't been much news to come out this week. Uh, there's some reports, some rumors, but nothing substantial. But I do have something here, so that's what I'm going to be going on. And I do want to harp on that. But personally, I do want to say this because I don't get to do this very often. Nor do I get to have, like, the small platform all the time to say this. That when it comes to gaming news, and I've noticed this over the time that I've been doing this. And the times that I've been harping on the same subjects for so long. Um, let's face it, not a lot of news comes out regarding games, not all the time. Some of it is gigantic news, sometimes they're not so good, and sometimes it's just straight out just rumors and bullcrap and rhetoric. And a lot of the time my process is taking the good with the bad. Now... I know I don't normally do this because this is the gaming news. You guys clicked on the video to see the news. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the rest of my rant for after I read the piece of news that I have for you guys. So without further ado, and because I was lazy, I did not change uh, my cue cards from the last week. <laughs> that tells you how much that tells you how much I, I've been doing lately. Anyway. Let's stop wasting time, and let's get right down to it. Yoink! Okay, PlayStation 5. Of course, <laughs> the PlayStation 5 is been a, has been a big contention with everyone over the past couple weeks, and nobody truly knows what's going on with this thing as everything progresses. So, let's face it, um... Nobody can really say anything concrete about the PlayStation 5 at the moment. Um, we know what it looks like, this beautiful hunk of console, but we do not know how much the price is going to be and the full lineup of exclusives that's going to be coming with the console very soon. <sighs> Sometimes it's frustrating being a, uh, a game caster. <laughs> anyway... This report comes from PushSquare.com. This was written by Sammy Barker. And this man has put out so much stuff that I've read. My man, you've, you're doing God's work. Anyway, it says, report says PlayStation 5's price could be $50 cheaper if you go for the digital edition. And it reads thus. We don't know how much the PlayStation 5 will cost. Nobody knows. But boss Jim Ryan appears to be buttering fans up ahead of high of high of a high price point. Oh sweet lord! The executive, the executive recently talked about how much, how it's emphasizing value with his next gen system, which is a gigantic red flag if ever we've seen one. He told the BBC, "We must be more attentive than ever before to ensure that the overall value proposed." Pro Proposion in terms of the console and the games, the range of games, the quality of games, the quantity of games makes this something that our community aspires towards. 
The potential po the potential positive here is that there will be two options available at launch. A model featuring a 4K Blu-ray disc drive and an all-digital alternative. So how much saving can you anticipate if you opt for the discless option? According to a new report from Digital Foundry, there is quite a bit to consider here. The removal of the disk drive it anticipates will save the platformer, platform holder around $20 in raw manufacturing costs, which is n n neg negligible. I'm hoping that I said that right. N-E-G-L-I-G-B-L-E. I can't spell at the moment. Leave me alone, to say the least. However, the shift add to the PlayStation Store is potentially lucrative for Sony, with software of sales unsettled from the cuts gobbled up by Blu-ray manufacturing, shipping firms, and retailers. As a result, the platform, hold, the platform holder stands to gain a guaranteed $8 additional revenue per digital game sale. With that in mind, it seems feasible that a PS5 console with four digital sales could realistically break even with, price, uh, with a price point $50 less than the disc-based alternative. There's also the absence of used games to consider, which potentially puts more dollars directly into Sony's pocket as well. It's beginning to sound like the PS5 will be a pricey proposition, but savings seems seem almost certain for those plumping up for the digital model. But all this leaves us with one lingering question. Are you willing to sacrifice the flexibility afforded by a physical media in favor of the cheaper model? Let us know. Now, personally, I'm going to go with the disk drive because I like to see the disks I'm handling and I like to see my options in front of me. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've had every single PlayStation console so far. I believe excluding the PS Vita. I've held the PlayStation 1. The original PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PSP. I've held the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4. Actually, I've had, have, I haven't held the PlayStation Move. That's an accessory. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, um, with all those, I am, I'm, I'm a lot more in line with holding my games and going out and seeing the games physically for myself. Yeah, it'll be easier just to lay back in my bed. And pick from a you know selection of games, but that you know you know ratifies the fact that I I wouldn't I want to go out to go to you know game launches. I want to go out to buy my games. I want to go out to see my games. And to be honest, let's face it, I don't have any other reason to say, hey, let me go outside. <laughs> so, is it worth um? The fifty dollars, possibly to some people, yeah, actually it would, but to me, it it doesn't seem very, you know, it doesn't seem like a good overturn. Depending on how much the PlayStation Five is, I might need to go digital. But with that being said, and with that all that being mentioned, I would need to see my options. Anyway, um. But that is it for all the news I had. As I said, there was only one piece of news that I really found that was worthy of you guys. I go through a rigorous process to see all the types of stuff that go goes into this. I don't just do anything. And let's face it, if I didn't do that, then personally, I would be just giving you guys rumor, rhetoric, and bullcrap every time I come on the air. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that. You guys want to hear the good news. You want to hear some of the bad news. You guys want to hear something that makes an impact. And that's what I'm trying to give. Regardless, um, that's kind of my process. I, I see down the list of things that is going into gaming that week. And I, I selectively go through a small process of just eliminating what I think is bullcrap and what's not. And to be honest, a lot of the things that I run across are sometimes just bullcrap. And bringing that to you just makes me seem like I'm just hearing you guys 
anything to get anything out. And that's not my style. I'm sorry. <laughs> but to be honest, uh, if I did do that, then you guys do not or will not watch my stuff. Because let's face it, that would just be lies, rumors, and stuff that just comes out of random garbage. And who wants to listen to that? I, I know I don't. If I'm going to play and, you know, look and watch stuff from games, I want to be able to know that I'm getting the correct information. And I'm pretty sure you guys want that too. So, I'm not going to bullcrap you. I know you don't want me to bullcrap you. So, let's not bullcrap each other. So, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. And I am, and I have not slept a wink. So, I'm about to get myself some shut eye before I need to wake up to do some more stuff with them, uh, with the IC crew, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, tomorrow's gonna be a long day, I have a lot of stuff to do, <laughs> I need to get started on the IC's new series, well, our, well, my new series that I'm doing on the channel, because, if you guys don't know, Spider-Man has already ended, I would say go watch the chat, go watch it, so, plug, um, go watch some of the, go watch some of the Spider-Man stuff, because that was some awesome stuff. Um, and I'm gonna be following it up with something even more fantastic. I just got everything, uh, set up for that. So, I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow evening. But, I, I kinda have to do a good while of setting with, uh, the IC crew. And, I don't know how long we're gonna be doing that for. Because, time frame. Anyway. Um, I'll say that's it for now. It's, I, I, I've exceeded my 10 minutes, so. <laughs> video. <laughs> if you guys don't know, videos must be at least 10 minutes long. Or, they're, uh, well, for me, I feel like, uh, having 10 minutes of stuff is worth the time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm sorry that I've just been rambling, like, waxing idiotic for the last, like, three minutes. And I'm sorry. But <laughs> I needed to kill time somehow. And to be honest, talking about, you know, how everything is processed here is kind of giving, like, that little in-depth look that everyone is looking for. And to be honest, it's a good way for me to be transparent about my process. And so you guys know that I'm just not giving out crap to you guys. I I go through a rigorous screening process for these freaking and these new articles, so I can give you stuff that you guys are gonna want to see, what you guys won't need to see, and what you guys need to freaking hear. So let's face it, that's something that needs to be done. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've been I've been talking for a little bit too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. Hope everyone has had a wonderful day. And thank you so much for choosing Damien Dragon Plays. You guys have been awesome. I don't know why I keep calling this Damien Dragon Plays, Damien Dragon's Gaming News, because you guys have been awesome. You guys have been great, and thank you so much for giving me your time. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys are you guys gonna be on Team PlayStation or Team Xbox? I to be honest, I don't care. You're gonna put down IDC in the comments down below and I can understand you do not care which console wins. I just want to play the game just like everyone else. So I'm just happy with any game that comes my way. So anyway, with that being said, thank you so much guys. Um, if you guys want to check out anything else from us, I will go see some um, some shiny hunting from Yumichi Chotuga because he's been doing that lately. And that's some of the uh, stuff that I've been watching from him lately. So, go check out Yumi Shotuga. Um, there's not a lot of people that I do really follow. I do follow everyone on the IC crew. And I sit back and just, you know, chill with everyone and see what they're, what they're up to. But there's not a lot of uh, stuff that I do get into. So, when I say this is a series you need to watch, go watch something from Yumi Shotuga. Go watch his Pokemon stuff. Because it's been golden lately. So, you and Shotuga, my man, you've been doing some good work lately. So, it's been appreciated. It's Dragon Approved. So, <laughs> go watch some of his stuff. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, and you guys definitely should be, the subscribe button will be down in the next to uh, the like button down there, which you also should be hitting. So, I thank you. Anyway, um... Also, all of our wonderful creators are down in the description down below, including my personal channel. Um, my stuff is going to be changing uh, in two days. So, come in and watch the ending of Tom and Jerry. 
Um, come watch some of the stuff from Dead Island. And come see some of the stuff from Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, Wizards 101, which is going to be coming back on Friday. Because that's going to be a long series. And on Sundays, Let It Die. I just finished off a first the, one of the first bosses in the game. So it's going to be hell raising. So come and check that out. And Minecraft on on those Sundays. So come in so you do not miss it. Anyway, hope everyone enjoyed today. But good gaming. Happy hunting. And I'll see all you Dragon Links back inside the world of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time for some more gaming dragon action. Peace.